Hi, today I'm painting incense and lotus flowers and I'm going to show you a really simple technique to paint smoke. For my background, I'm using burnt sienna with a little black. I'm making it darker at the top of the canvas and then as I work my way downwards, I'm adding less black and more burnt sienna to get a nice warm colour at the bottom. I've given it two coats of paint just to get good coverage and a nice rich tone at the bottom. I'm using a pastel pencil to sketch out where my incense holder is going to be, but I've also put a link in the description for a free traceable if you'd like to use it. I've added some of my brilliant magenta to the dark colour I use for the background and I'm using this to block out where my incense holder is going to be. Then again I'm using my Brilliant Magenta and I'm going to roughly block out my Lotus Flower, although we will add some more details later. We can start building up the circular and rounded shape of the incense holder now. I'm going to add some shadows at the bottom and some shadows at the right hand side of it and some highlights on the left. Take your time, slowly build it up. You can always go over any areas that you don't like and eventually you'll get this lovely rounded shape of the pot. We can start adding a few more details to our flowers now. I'm using a liner brush and just giving it a really nice crisp point to the petals. I'm adding some highlights to the petals, another coat of Brilliant Magenta to give it a really vibrant colour and just slowly building up the structure and the details.
we can also use the liner brush to add some fine details to our incense holder too. I'm using my liner brush again to start painting the smoke. The paint's quite thin and I haven't overloaded my brush too much. The main thing to remember is keep the edges nice and curved and soft. We don't want any straight lines or sharp points. And slowly sweep the brush around, sometimes pressing a little harder, sometimes a little lighter, and you'll get that lovely sweep and curved line. If the line's broken in places, that's absolutely fine because smoke isn't solid. Next I'm coming in with a blender brush, this one is a chisel blender and I'm using that just to soften and blur the smoke at the edges. You can also use the chisel blender to remove paint if you put a little bit too much on and just gradually build it up adding a little at a time. I've added a little bit of blue to my smoke because I thought it would look really pretty. You can add whatever colours that you like and really have fun with it. And here are some other videos that I hope you like to watch next and I'll see you next time.